Are you looking to use an external mic with your iPhone or iPad? Then spare the next few minutes to watch this video. It could save you a lot of time and aggravation. With the ability to record high quality video, many people use iPhones and iPads as their video cameras to make videos for business, home or just pleasure. But like most devices with building microphones, the audio can leave a lot to be desired. If you want to put over a professional image, then your audio is just as important as your video, if not more so. Like it or not, if you want good audio, you're going to have to use an external mic and for vocal work, one of the most popular types is a lapel mic like I'm wearing now. Now you would think it's simple, just buy a lapel mic, plug it in and start recording. But like so many seemingly simple things in life, it turns out not to be so. You can't just plug any mic into an iPhone or an iPad. Apple don't use the usual connection method, one connector for the mic and another one for the headphones. Instead, they've combined it together into one connector. Now, unless you buy a microphone that's specifically made for the iPad or iPhone, you're gonna need one of these. It's an adapter that allows you to plug your microphone into an iPhone or iPad. Sounds simple. Yes, it should be, but here comes another but. There are two types of microphones. Ones which work with an external battery, like this ATR3350 from Audio-Technica. You can tell these because they have a small container where the battery lives somewhere along the lead. And then there are the self-powered ones. These get their power from the device itself. They have a mic at one end and a connector at the other and nothing else in between. Now the problem is you can't use the same adapter lead for both microphones. You have to get an, a different adapter lead for each mic, otherwise your microphone will not work. Now just to add even more confusion into the mix, the iPhones and iPads are configured to carry on using the internal mic when it doesn't recognize the external mic correctly. Now, unlike most normal audio equipment, if you had the wrong connector, you'd normally get no sound recorded. But in this case, you still may get an audio recording, but of a somewhat poorer and expected quality because it's still gonna be recording from the internal mic. Now, if you don't know about this, it will have you pulling your hair out and wondering just what the hell is going on when your iPhone continues to use the internal mic, even when you've got an external one plugged into it. Now, when this happened to me, I was lucky. I had both types of mic available. So when the battery powered one didn't work, I tried the self powered one and that worked fine. And that's when I realized it's down to the type of mic that causes this problem. Now, there are a few suppliers out there selling these adapter cables, but before you buy anything, you should make sure that the company or person you're buying from knows about this and offers two types of adapter cable, one for battery powered mics and one for self powered mics, and that they can tell you which one you need depending upon the microphone you have. Check on our website at video-alchemy.com or if there's a link under the video, click on there and we have a list of suppliers which we've already found. There is no standard to these. Apple do not make an official adapter, so they could look like this or this. So you just have to trust your supplier to give you the right one. Just beware of the cheap ones offered on eBay and Amazon because they don't always work. Again, look for a supplier which knows you have two different types of leads. So that's it. Now you know what to look for in an adapter that matches your microphone and hopefully your audio will sound great. If you enjoyed the video, then rate and subscribe. If you've got any comments or questions about what we talked about in the video, then leave them in the box below. There's a couple of extra videos at the side here which you can watch in continuation. And if you think anybody might find this useful, then share it with them. Now, I've got some reading material to catch up with and you've got some videos to make. See you next time.